These type of questions ask you to fill out a number line. For this one, it says the number line, which is just a line on which different values are marked at specific intervals. So each of those ticks shows a different spot where a number value would go. And this one spans, and spans means everything from the start in between to the end. So we're going to put a star on six tenths. So this number line spans zero to one. And we're going to put a star on six tenths. So that means if it spans, that means the beginning is zero and the end is one. So this whole number line represents one hole from zero to one. It's just zoomed out really big. So the next thing we need to do to figure out what the intervals are is to kind of look at how many parts this number line, this hole, has been cut up into. So the first thing to do is to look at how many parts has this number line been cut up into. So I'm not going to really count the little tiny ones first because I also see some bigger ones and that will be faster. So I'm just going to start by counting up the different parts. So I see from here to here is one part. Now from here to the next one is another part. And I'm going to keep counting up the parts. I'm not really counting the tick lines because I'm more interested in how many parts this number line is broken into than how many tick lines there are. So if I go back and count the parts, I can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there are 10 parts. So this number line is broken up into tenths because there are 10 parts. To find the first tenth, you start at zero and you go to the end of the interval. And that is your first tenth. So right there is one tenth. If you write it in fraction form, it'll look like that. If you write it in decimal form, it'll look like that. The next interval to there is two tenths, or 0.2. The next one is the third tenth, or 0.3. And so on and so forth. You'll keep counting all the tenths until you reach the end of your number line. Okay, so for this question, it said put a star on six tenths. So I need to keep going until I get to six tenths. So when I find six tenths, I'm going to put a star there. In this problem, the little ticks in between the tenths didn't even matter. So you try some on your own. And if you need help, you can come back and watch this again.